I would like to uh, bring up Daniel Hazen from the Psych Rights and U.S. Human Rights Network. From New York, Occupy Wall Street. Up in New York. I want to talk to you a little bit about, uh, as a survivor of the prison and psychiatric industries, that there's this industry inside the prison industry, which is a capitalistic process of using psychiatric drugs, electroconvulsive treatment, restraint and seclusion, and putting us in solitary confinement, where people, we're calling for human rights, as many people with disabilities across the board are being tortured in the name of what is called quote unquote mental health. So when we talk about Occupy, we talk about capitalism, I want to remind us about the pharmaceutical industry. In these psychiatric institutions, they are no different than prisons. I want to tell you, I've been in both. I've survived both. My brothers and sisters are still locked up in them. They're locked up in community kind of programs and put oppressive laws on top of them. So I want us abolitionists and us reformists to come together with the prison abolition movement and the psychiatric abolition movement to abolish these institutions. Please, in solidarity, it can happen to anyone. It happens to political prisoners every day. If you don't believe the status quo, you're confined, you're drugged, you're restrained, you're secluded, and shot. So, a lot of my brothers and sisters write me. Um, I had the opportunity to be free today, but it's, it's my uh, obligation to continue the grassroots working with people who are locked behind these bars, especially in prisons. Um, this is from a person in Texas. Um, he likes to call himself Yah. He says, hello and greetings. Please send me all your available information about prisoners with disabilities being denied access to prison programs and health care and are being forcibly restrained and medicated against their will, among all other human rights violations. Please support efforts to get the U.S. government to ratify human rights conventions and treaties to import new tools to protect our human rights while we're behind these bars. Here's another letter from a friend in Texas. I really need your support here in Texas. I have sent you something as a show of my support against injustice because this I know, man is a community. They sent me stamps to continue the work um, to send email, or excuse me, letter mails to people behind bars, especially who are in solitary confinement. Uh, labeled with psychiatric uh, diagnosis. It says, we tend to think of man as a collection of individuals, each complete in himself, who just happen to come together to satisfy, satisfy certain needs. Actually, however, there is nothing distinctly human that can be exhibited by an individual in isolation. Man is essential, a community. His life and her life is a communal affair. He exists only where a plurality of individuals is in communication with one another and share a common life. Thank you for your time. God bless you. Sincerely, Jay Wright. So, mic check. I want to do a little shout out here as a human rights activist. I want to start off by saying, what do we want? And you all shout back, human rights. And I'm going to shout, when do we want them? And we say, now. What do we want? Human rights! When do we want them? Now! What do we want? Human rights! When do we want them? Now! What do we want? Human rights! When do we want them? Now! Thank you, Occupy, all friends!